Good morning, fam. I'm telling you, I am so glad that I woke up, um, excuse me, that last night I went ahead and exercised and got that X on my calendar because the X on my calendar on the first of the month means more to me than anything. It means more to me than 29 X's because it's my start. So this morning I am getting ready to go to the gym so that I can work out properly where I have everything I need and I can really get it, get it, get it going. And um, I'm making this promise that I will never give up. Um, when I was at the fitness center the last time and I remember telling you in the last video that a young man came over to me and said um, how long did you spend on that elliptical and I think I told him 60 minutes and he said that your first 30 minutes on the elliptical is only burning energy and you need to be working on your weights that guy was a um, fitness instructor and I thought about hiring him. As a matter of fact, he's going to call today. And But I'm thinking that with him being so young, he won't understand my aches and pains and how to work around them. I might get a fitness therapist, get a physical fitness, uh, get a fi physical therapist um, because I have bad knees, a back problem, uh, feet and ankles. So, I'm not letting nothing stop me. Trust and believe you me. I'm not letting anything stop me, but I'm not going to the gym to hurt myself. So, along with the fitness therapist, along with the physical therapist, I'm also going to do some studying on my own. And whenever I make it through, and I'm a size 9, 10, I think right now I'm a size 20, 18. I didn't made it down to 18 and pushing into a 16. And um, I presently weigh 215. And before I started this journey, well, me and my husband and I went on a cruise and I, I was up to 240 again. So I've been 240 twice in my life. But um, I didn't start recording until after I started losing weight because, again, I can't stand the scales when it's that high it scares me i mean it makes you feel like you'll never get the weight off and i got to see progress to believe even though in my life i've lost weight about two or three times and the problem is sticking with it so here's what i'm proposing to do i mean it's beautiful. What I'm thinking about doing is go ahead and become a certified fitness instructor. And I don't want to do personal training. I'm going to do group fitness. And I would love to do it for older women such as myself. Because um, a lot of women don't think like I thought. A lot of them don't think that you can get this weight off. And people are always told... Um, well, once you get older, you can't get rid of that weight so easily. And to me, it's the same as when I was young. I mean, it's all difficult. None of it's easy. So, I'd like to do a workshop that includes weight loss. And um, let me see, one hour of the workshop where we sit at the table, <clears throat> excuse me, sit at the table and talk and motivate. And then the second hour devoted to exercise. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And that would be phenomenal. And um, during the workshop, when we're sitting around talking, I would like for it to cover things such as fashion, beauty, goal setting, um natural beauty, Afrocentricity, I, it burns me, it hurts me. You know, what's going on with the black culture today? I heard a young lady 
say that she was her daughter wanted a baby alive or something and that her only choices was a real dark doll or a mocha color doll or white. And so she chose to get her, da her daughter the mocha color doll. And you know, the color is just your preference, but I, I would, it hurts me to think that we think that anything dark isn't worth anything. And that's so not true. Um, you know, not to be, um, as others would call it, reverse discrimination. But the darker you are, the more valuable you are. Like the old people used to say, the blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Well, the darker you are, the more power that you have, the more powerful you are. Yesterday in church, um, and I, I'm no religious person, trust and believe that. I don't believe in religiosity. I don't like it. And most of the time, I don't like Christians because they talk about each other behind their back. Seems like lately, every Christian I've met is mean. And that doesn't have anything, I know that that shouldn't have anything to do with the faith, but it doesn't. But I'm not a Christian. I'm I'm on a road to researching. You know, I just want to know what is, what is right, what is true. And maybe it's just to worship God, the, the creator in spirit and in truth. But anyway, um... Yesterday in church, if I had to go to a church, I like the one I go to because um, my minister is not just only preparing us for death. He's preparing us to live a good life. So he talked about a lot of things that, that concerned me. One thing being that... Um, Oh, I just ramble on and on these on these channels. But anyway, one thing that he said that bothers him is that so many people call him asking him, um, was Jesus black? And he said, and or they call him and ask, what about the texture of Jesus' hair? What about the width of his nose? And he said, that has so little to do with what's really relevant. I mean, you know, um... <sighs> that you need to be concerned with what's going to be happening in 2018. And, um, you know, a few other things he said that I care not to repeat right now. And um, I really respect him for that. Um, at the end of his sermon, he said, um, you know, because it was the last sermon of the year, and he said, I want you to write on a sheet of paper, Things that you would like to leave behind in 2017. Things you want left over on that side. I wrote one dang thing. One. <gasps> one. That's all I asked for is just one. I asked to leave one thing behind. And, uh... If I could leave that one thing behind, my life would be way lighter. But I'm going to deal with life however it comes. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway. Um, so, we wrote what, what, it, what everybody wrote, what it is that they want to leave in 2017. He had a basket lined with... Um, lined with a, a garbage bag... And um, we put we put what we wanted to discard into the garbage bag, and he tied it up securely, and had a deacon come so that he can um, take it out and burn it. And I don't believe in that kind of a thing, but I do, and I think what will come from that is because of what I believe, not so much as the process itself, but 
the meaning that I assign to it. So I am uh, really looking forward to some life-changing events this year, 2018. Um, anyway, I am, I am on my way to the gym and I'm going to work so hard. I'm, I'm changing my whole way of thinking from now on. I'm going to um, work on my arms and abs and all of that stuff. I don't know how to separate it yet, but um, I'm going to work on it. And I'm not going to start counting the reps until I get tired. Once I start getting tired, then I'll go 12, 11. And I'm talking about I'm going here and I'm going to work. And from now on, I'm going to work. And you will see a big results in three months. Three months? In 90 days. Three months. Okay. All right. Have a good day. Love you all. Bye.